No, it was. It was. It was clean. <laughs> Go ahead with questions. So Brian getting uh, best player of the year, that's pretty awesome. And now he's in the camp conversation of viewing this morning. That's amazing. It's incredible. I I, uh, I sent the release to him and his mom this morning and said exactly that. It's just it's absolutely incredible. Um, you know, to play at the level that he's played as consistently as he's played um, for three straight years is it's awesome. And uh, you know, I'm I'm glad that uh, you know my peers in the league think as much of him defensively as I do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's it's hard to get three guys on a on an all conference team like that uh, in a league as good as ours. So again, uh, I think I think that my fellow coaches in the league recognize you know how important they are to our success and. Uh, uh, they're, they're all very deserving, and you know I'm glad they were rewarded for a great year. Hey, with the way the game ended uh, the other day, I mean, it could have been very bad. Instead, it's very good. I mean, you learn from every game. You know, we did some things incredibly well the first 10, 12 minutes of that game, um, and then we didn't do some things very well for the next 15 or 20 minutes of the game. Um, but. You know, we stuck with it, and, and you know, Trey made a huge play. We were probably due for one of those. Um, you know, we had the ball at the end of the Villanova game to start. Had a couple chances, had it at the end of the Butler game, uh, and uh, you know, we were due for one of those to go our way. So he made a big time shot, and it's you know, a shot that he's practiced a thousand times. It's, uh, it's easier to say when you come out on the, the positive end of one of those late close games, but to have some of those reps going in the market. Yeah, I mean the film will be great today because there's there's some mistakes we made late that we have to clean up. Um, obviously, we still, you know, the the uh, Justin Moore, Eric Dixon two man game was you know it's hard for anybody to solve, but obviously it gave us problems after the first ten minutes of the game. Um, so you know we at least we won't have to see them again until maybe the championship game if we both make it there. But uh, you know, winning at a place like Villanova is very hard to do. And especially with what they had on the line, uh, we knew they weren't going to quit, and they didn't. They made a heck of a run, and you know, fortunately, we made one more play. Zach, what, what would be your case to, to the coaches in the league if you had been able to talk to them before the they submitted their ballots and they left for players? You know, I, I, I'm probably of the belief that you know, the player of the year probably needs to go to the someone on the team that won the league. Uh, so I don't. I don't know who's going to win it, but uh, you know that's that's probably the way I would think. Baylor's had a heck of a year, and he's statistically, you know, one of the better seasons of any Creighton player in our history. So, uh, you know, he's he was deserving. You know, he was unanimous on the first team, which he deserved. Um, but yeah, you know, I don't think I don't think Baylor cares much about the Player of the Year stuff, and uh, which doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I mean Georgetown's playing better. Uh, you know, they really they took St. John's to the wire in the Garden uh, last weekend, and uh, you know they know each other really well. Obviously, Ed coached all those guys, a lot of those guys at Providence, and the two games they played were relatively competitive. Uh, but we had two really good games with Providence. Um, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, but and I'm glad we're resting for a day, waiting for that game. What's your more? Coach, this is our first time chatting with you since the contract was announced. Like getting it across the finish line. No, I'm ex I'm excited. Uh, you know, I've, I've said before, this is where I want to finish my career. I've said that many times over the course of the years. And you know, any any time uh, you know you're negotiating contracts, you know, there's two sides to it, right? There's things that I want. There's things that the university wants. And you know, fortunately, we are we able, we're able to come to an agreement that I think is you know very fair for both parties. What about the, the garden? What makes it so special? I mean, in playing the night session. Yeah, I mean the crowd's great. I mean it, the Wednesday night crowds are great. I mean, let alone you know quarterfinal Thursday and semifinal Friday. Um, but it's you know it's just the place is massive and it's uh, like I've said before it's got it's got that junior high uh, the play that you have to be part of in junior high even though you don't want to be part of a play but you have to do it for the experience. Uh, you know, where the crowd is dark, you know, it's dark in the crowd and you're, it's all lit up on stage and you can't really see anybody. That's kind of what it's like playing in the garden. You feel like you're, 
um, you know, out on this massive island in this in this huge place. Uh, and the acoustics are incredible. You know, it's it's so loud in there, and it's uh, it's a terrific experience for our guys. Next time, are you in the junior high club? I think I probably had to be. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have brought it up. <laughs>